Right now, China isn't just in the electric vehicle race, they're winning it. Within a decade, Chinese automakers went from playing catch up to completely dominating the market. Today, they command nearly 60% of global battery electric vehicle sales, the US just 16%. And that didn't happen by accident. Beijing spent two decades treating EVs not just as cars, but as strategic technology platforms. Next week, over 40,000 people will gather in Shenzhen for Automotive World China, a massive expo showcasing the future of cars. China now produces most of the world's electric vehicles. In 2015, China overtook the United States in battery electric vehicle sales. Last year, China sold 6.7 million BEVs. In the US, just 1.3 million. That means more than five times VEVs were sold in China than in the US. Even accounting for population differences, that's proportionally more. There are over 100 car brands in China that produce battery electric vehicles. But they're not just car companies, they're tech companies. They design their own batteries, software, and sensors. They scale fast, and they think of the EV just as Silicon Valley once thought of the smartphone, as a software-defined machine. At first, Chinese EVs stayed home, but now they're everywhere. Latin America, Southeast Asia, Africa. In 2015, just 3% of Chinese EVs were sold abroad. Chinese brands now outsell American ones in 68 countries. The US leads in only seven. If we look at the larger picture, Chinese BEV sales are on track to surpass US BEV sales. In fact, US sales are plateauing. If we go a layer deeper, we see that Chinese BEV growth is primarily driven by the growth of indigenous Chinese brands like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng. These brands are growing faster than even Chinese-owned foreign brands like Volvo or MG. This isn't just about cheap cars, it's about innovation power. Chinese EVs are loaded with features. Ultra-fast charging that fills your battery in five minutes, AI-powered driving systems, and some cars even have augmented reality entertainment systems. Meanwhile, Tesla's global sales have declined. For the first time, annual BYD sales are on track to surpass Tesla's. This balance of innovation, once America's strength, is now tilting towards China. So how do the US fall behind? We never treated EVs as a strategic technology. EVs sit at the intersection of battery, AI, robotics, and energy, the backbone of the 21st century economy. Lose the EV race, and you lose the entire manufacturing base that will power everything else. This isn't just a car race, it's a test of whether or not America can still lead the technologies that will define global power. Because whoever wins the EV race won't just shape the auto industry, they'll define the future.